right, ladies and gentlemen, we're four seconds away from the PlayStation reveal. We do not know what this is going to be. People think it's going to be PS5 Pro, GTA 6. Let's get into it, because recently we had rumors, guys. Like the video. Hi, you just want good I'm stuff, Mark man. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro, and how it advances gaming technology. What? But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and okay. how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. My guy just came up! When no PS5 more. debuted in 2020, no more sugar coating. It brought a lot to the table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high speed complex gameplay, with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU, which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. Audio good, Custom let me know. SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra fast. One in the comments of my audio and the gameplay or the stream audio good. And data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay, I'm working on it. Yeah, Tempest yeah, 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 3 yeah, yeah, yeah. Audio Tech brings an unparalleled... But, but him saying 120 FPS, that's such a cap. So many games are like 30 FPS still, bruh. Like, cap, man, stop the cap. ...even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Bro, talking about stuff Finally, no one wants to Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through Got your it. hands what your character is one. experiencing inside of the game. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. Okay, the dreams okay, of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Graphics modern modes. gaming? It can be a difficult choice for players. Yeah, very much so, I agree. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. Yeah, These yeah, modes yeah. might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. Agreed, the visuals absolutely. can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Performance yeah. modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity. Okay, so he's like saying that, yeah, PS5, 30 FPS and gameplay can be choppy, you know? Graphics can be choppy. Oh, he bought a sell us on like a crazy deal with PS5 Pro by the looks of it. Typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. mainly Fidelity by reducing the graphical detail until those mm. frame rates can be achieved. So I'm assuming PS5 when Pro asked to decide it. on a mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Okay. Here's what we call the big three. Oh, she? First, oh, the big we three? made the okay. GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. Funny. The result is Only... rendering that's up to 45% faster. Only 45? Damn, man, we need Second, more, bro. Only... we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. Damn. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR for short. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can oh, wow. add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the How game. How much? A thousand dollars? Two thousand? adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. BBCR. Here's The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. That's it? That's Let's it? compare this to the fidelity yeah. mode on PS5, which That's is only it? running at 30 frames per second and is therefore. It looks like the same game, bro. <laughs> it's just a little bit of the grass, bro. 
Oh, uh, tell me this does not cost a thousand dollars. If this costs a thousand dollars, that upgrade is not. By the way, I do play on PS5, bro. Thoughts, guys, honestly, WRL, WRL. If it turns out PS, like what, what, Habibi, what? That ain't even that big of a difference, bruh. Habibi, you crazy? Much choppier. Don't stop. <sighs> we gotta look. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. It's the same game. And Ratchet a little bit and better, but... Rift Apart, we can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. I don't see that double of a power. I mean, yeah, it does look a little bit better, but it's over. We heard that GTA 6 is probably going to be 30 FPS on PS5 and PS5 Pro. It's probably going to be true. Maybe not, maybe not. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. Okay. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene including the trees and procedural cars. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. As you've been seeing, machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. They own crack. Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power Dude. is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! It does as look well as to the hair and the skin. It does look good. It does look good. But, but like, it already looked good on the normal PS5, right? Like, PS5 Pro, it's like a tiny bit difference. Damn, man, like... L or W? A lot of you guys saying In L. cinematics. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. Bruh. Bruh. Ray tracing <laughs> is finding broad usage as well, particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. It should the be faster 500. hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Like normal PS5, Allowing not that big of a Gran difference. Allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray traced reflections between the cars in gameplay, while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. Oh, wow. That boost oh, wow. in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. Wow! I hope oh, you've enjoyed so this run-through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply- I did not. <laughs> no, it, honestly, it does look good, but what's the price? It should be 500 like the normal PS5. Bruh, bruh, like, bruh! That's not even that big of a difference, bro. Just a tiny difference. It's just a tiny difference. They put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. BBCR. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Oh, let's see. You'll never oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here it comes. There it comes. BBCR. Okay, we're going to see like how it looks like. <laughs> I like the design though, like, but, but like, I'm... Gameplay matters, man. Sheesh, sheesh. But what's the price? What's the price? When is it coming out? I think they're gonna put it at the end, okay? We're gonna see. You think 600 debate me? I think 600 is realistic, but it should be 500. We're not seeing that big of a difference, guys. Like, there's nothing that big. Let's see the gra uh, okay, so graphics showcase. And, and keep in mind, the graphics looks amazing. These are not bad graphics. It's just that they look that good on the normal PS5 too. So, you know what I mean? A Captain BBC! They got, oh, whoever said that, where's the cat? That's the disciples. You see that? We got the Captain BBC right there, man. Ah, oh, this suck is crazy, man. This suck is crazy. Yeah, if you guys don't know, there's massive drama going on with Assassin's Creed them being racist towards black people, Japanese people. We talked about it a million times, so that's the context, uh, context right there. That's why people are like, Captain BBC! Sheesh! Sheesh! Damn! 
Hogwarts was, I, I love Hogwarts. I love everything about it, minus the story. I think the story for Hogwarts was weak, but everything else was amazing. But overall, where are you guys at? WRL. Graphics, amazing, don't get me wrong, but they don't look that good. 699! You say it's crazy? Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? 120k Japanese yen includes tax. Oh wow. 699 USD? You guys crazy? In Urdu, I would like to say, Yeh madar chot ke bache, Sam milke hamko pahal bana rahe, Kutte deo bache ho, Pehen cho, Tadi, Haram zado, Yaar, Salo, Arre mar jano, Kutte deo bache ho, 700, You say it's crazy? 800 euros! 800 euros! Arre dallo, Kutte deo, Mar jao, Doob ke mar jao, Chullu par pani mein, Doob ke mar jao, Kutte de, Pehen cho, 700? 700 USD. Yeah, it's gonna be 600, Skizzle. It's gonna be 600. It's gonna be 600. 952 Canadian, bro. What the hell? And there's gonna be 15%. State taxes on this motherfucker out there, bruh. It's gonna be over 1,000. 1,100. 1,200 maybe even. When is it coming out? Alright, let's see the release date. Let's see the release date. Okay, show us the release date. It's coming up, I guess. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Any second now, any second now. Any second now. Starting price only, guys. 700 starting price. Oh, they're not saying when it's coming out. It's still running. Let me skip five seconds. Five seconds again. Oh, it's over. Oh, ditch cube, man. Okay, let's get into this one. Okay, everybody, let's clench your butt cheeks. Let's actually go ahead and check it out, man. Okay, let me actually go ahead and tweet this second, and we're gonna need to see the... Uh, maybe they put it on the... Yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna see everybody's reaction. Oh, this is gonna be a war zone right now, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a war zone one minute ago. Uh, 700... Okay, let me see what meme we're, we're thinking about. I wanna, I wanna think about the meme here. What's the relevant meme? What's I need to think about it now that I'm streaming? Uh, okay, let me let me put it this one here. Sam, everyone's reaction to seven hundred and uh, seven hundred. Yeah, this is a perfect one. Okay, let's see the reaction. This suck is crazy. Seven hundred. I mean, to be fair though, we heard the rumors. 800 euros with no disk drive is actually what there yeah we heard the rumors but is that even true oh my god yo the xbox youtuber is gonna be trashing this and understandably man yo any xbox homeboy right trash it i need you everybody sony ponies xbox gamers fans everybody around dick riders bbc bundle riders everybody fans non-fans Fanboys, everybody needs to come together on this. is highway robbery. This is daytime robbery, bro. Habibi, 700. Seven. Oh, shit. Okay, something else came up in the GTA 5 right there. Okay, we're Bruh. not. Okay, something else came out in Bruh. GTA 6, but what the hell? $800 for console with no games. Lamal, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. Where are the games? Where are the new games? 700. No release date officially yet. Oh, that's my tweet right there. Let me like it up. Sometimes I do be liking my own tweet. No disk drive. Oh, shit. Okay, did they just put it out in this one? Larger? PlayStation Spectral? Do they say vertical stands sold separately? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, where do they say... Oh, shit, yeah, you see no disk drive right there. The rumors were true, all of them. So we heard that no disk drive. We also did hear 700 USD. We heard that. But there were people that were being a little bit somewhat optimistic about it and people were saying that 600 would be digital, 699 would be disk drive. It seems like that those uh, people were being optimistic. Okay, let me actually uh, tweet this second out right now, okay? Screenshot there. What we witnessed was a daytime robbery, y'all. Biggest sell. This is the biggest disappointment ever, bruh. Some of the worst moment. I saw it live, guys. I saw it live. The war okay, so let me tweet. Let me see. Biggest PlayStation L right there. Best PlayStation L ever. This should have been. Should
should have been 550 max. This should be five. <laughs> should I tweet it that way? Should I tweet it 50? But honestly, it should be 550 max. This should have been five. Because yeah, you're not getting that big of an upgrade. Biggest PlayStation L ever. Uh, agree or disagree? Agree or dis... Uh, uh, agree. You guys can say $55 in chat. 